Hello everyone, coming to you from Seoul, South Korea, and this is Dr. Bok. Dr. Bok, welcome. It's an Hello. honor. It's an honor to be sitting with you. Yeah, I'm Dr. Bok. We are sitting at really the Mecca, the center of uh, thyroid ablation. Yes, exactly. It's quite amazing yes. for all the uh, professionals who have come together yeah, for yeah. this event. Mm. And Dr. Buck, I think, is a thyroidectomy patient. You? Yes. Oh, I okay. think okay. it's this is so important radio frequency ablation yes. for the patient. Because even 10 years ago mm -hmm. in South Korea, there was too many thyroidectomies. Yes. And now we have a way mm. to remove a thyroid nodule and save the thyroid. Exactly. So by, important. Um, by RF ablation. We, RF ablation is a thyroid function preserving treatment. Preser preserving. Preserve the thyroid. Yes. Why is it important for the patient? Uh, as you know, when we have no thyroid, we should uh, take a drug, thyroid drug, right long. Mm -hmm. taking drug mm? mm -hmm. and uh, uh, in my opinion the natural thyroid hormone and the drug may be somewhat different to patient the quality of uh, thyroid hormone I mean the, mm? Mm. you understand no doubt about it mm. uh, quality of life changes mm. Mm. after uh, thyroidectomy. It, maybe, the body it yeah, feels different. Maybe. Yeah. You can feel. Feel different. Of course, <laughs> I feel uh, um, the body is not the same. Mm, you the know, same. some brain yeah, yeah. fog, mm. um, and it just there's other issues mm. that come with not having a thyroid mm. physically. So it's so important for the patient. Yes. What has to happen? Because not everywhere is radio frequency ablation being performed. Yes, yes. There's still slow adoption. Yeah. What needs to happen for further adoption? Mm -hmm. That's very good uh, question. In United States, they understand the value of thyroid ablation, but cannot. They could not start because it is not covered by insurance. The cost of uh, uh, thyroid RFA is too high. But now, some patient, in some patient, mm -hmm. uh, the insurance covers this procedure. Hmm? That is important. The insurance issue is totally different in each country. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the cost should be lower than nowadays to adopt this procedure to every country. Mm -hmm. You understand? What is the cost of the treatment in South Korea? Ah, in South Korea, uh, the surgery is cheaper than uh, RF ablation mm. in terms of uh, treatment of uh, benign thyroid nodules, benign. Mm. But in case of uh, recurrent thyroid cancer, RF ablation is covered by insurance so cheap. So cheap, so many patients want to do RFA rather than repeat surgery. Repeat. Why not do RFA the first time instead of the surgery? Ah, it is not allowed in Korea so far. Hmm. Mm, so far. That is. Uh, uh, the reason of uh, surgery is first treatment for initially detected thyroid cancer. Are there exceptions when a patient says, I want... I don't want 
surgery. RFA, uh, I don't uh, want surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm. it is not allowed it in Korea so far. So far. Are you going to change that? I hope. But I'm not sure when mm -hmm. it can be accepted by uh, majority of doctors and our country. Well, it's sure. too bad, you know, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. myself without a thyroid. I know my quality of life is not mm -hmm. the same as it was when I had a thyroid. Mm -hmm. What has to happen around the world for adoption mm -hmm. to advance more quickly? Ah, okay, that's a good question. Uh, in many countries, they are now publish their opinion, I mean the guideline, their recommendation, pub they, they are now publish. The guideline says other population can be applied to thyroid cancer. But mm -hmm. it is another story. The government allows the treatment for thyroid cancer. It's another, another story. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as many guidelines publish it, uh, the government can allow this procedure to not only benign, but also primary thyroid cancer. So, one of the obstacles is government. Mm. Um, is there another obstacle with a paradigm shift for doctors? Uh, for example, we're hearing from certain countries where RFA is being widely accepted, yes, like Brazil. Yes, yes. But then we get contacts through RFA MD from patients in Mexico, mm. and they're having a hard time locating a doctor to perform RFA. Mm. Is there just what needs to happen for the paradigm shift? Uh, 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 uh. I'm not sure. What makes it difficult in Mexico? Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, in Korea, uh, as I introduced, the government allows this procedure, we can do it. For government uh, permit the procedure, we need more strong evidence. Mm -hmm. I mean the publication articles mm -hmm. and the opinions from many doctors that is necessary. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a group of doctors yeah. that are early adopters, yeah. that are ambassadors advocates granted you have been in the forefront for yeah. many years yeah but doctors who are now coming to rfa mm. are so passionate mm. they are ambassadors i'm thinking of uh, doctors like cristian garcia from ecuador and juan pablo duenas from colombia mm. they're so passionate about uh, doing rfa and how it saves thyroid mm. um what do you feel um, everybody from ACTA, what would you like other doctors to know yeah. about RFA mm. or even patients? Mm. Uh, as you know, the doctors attending this program, uh, everybody want to learn this procedure mm. and uh, apply to their patient. Uh, but some doctors prefer surgery. Surgery is more perfect than other population. Hmm? It is true. It is true. Huh? Surgical excision is more perfect way to uh, treat the thyroid cancer. It is true. Oh. But uh, I, I mean, the, there is uh, some window. Window. Uh, who is uh, proper by treating RF population, even in mm -hmm. thyroid cancer, uh, we can 
uh, we can establish the patient who is a proper uh, indicate indication hmm? mm, for other population. Who who is the best mm. candidate? It is not so clear, mm. uh, clear yet. So uh, it is our uh, it is our law in the future to establish the. Mm, proper indication. You know, Dr. Beck, I, I feel like a lot of this, mm. it, it falls on the patient mm. to be their best advocate. Mm. I think the patient now is gathering information. Mm. They are discovering RFA. Yeah, yes, yes. They're discovering mm. that RFA can be used mm. for malignant mm. in some cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are being their own best advocate. Mm. And they are seeking out and mm. searching for a doctor yes, yes to perform the RFA yes and save or preserve their thyroid yes uh, that is why many foreign patients visit mm. our hospital mm. yeah they are coming from what countries many countries a lot of countries from United States mm. from Asia Mm. from Europe, even Europe. Mm. You know, you walk around the conference here and the technology is yeah. amazing mm. to see everything on display here. Mm. And it's amazing what's to come. Yeah, yeah. What do you feel are some of the more interesting things to come mm. in the next year or two? Mm. What do you see in the future? Uh, in the future, uh, I hope we can establish more clear indications for RF population and surgery, we can share our lore for our patient more clear and more proper suggestion for our patient. Uh, some patients from other countries to our center, uh, in my opinion, some of them are not proper mm. for thyroid RF population. That means uh, many doctors could not differentiate proper mm. and improper patients. So we need to establish that point. When a patient comes from the United States, what is mm. the approximate cost if they're paying cash? Much cheaper than United States <laughs> in our country. Because, as you know, the medical cost in the United States mm -hmm. is so high. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why they visit <laughs> mm -hmm. our hospital. Mm. One thing we were going to talk about was the training. Mm. Uh, what do you training. feel, mm. uh, for the people watching, mm. for those listening, mm. uh, what should the doctor know about training? Mm. That's a good question. Over the past three years, past three years, because of COVID, we closed our training program. <laughs> so uh, we have a plan to reopen the training program next year uh, with the collaboration of uh, many doctors and uh, many companies. Mm. So how can a doctor find training mm. if they would like to uh, join? Uh, please <laughs> follow my SNS. I will post our training program and uh, very nice and very educational cases in my SNS. Please follow. So where can they locate? We're going to put the link on the screen they'll see the link and the information in the description. Yes, um, I, I believe you know my SNS. <laughs> that's right. So you'll see that in the description to the episode. Uh, they can okay. find the link. Uh, Facebook um, and the LinkedIn. That's mm -hmm. right. And yeah. in, in Dr. Bach, any final thoughts? Anything you, else you would like them to know about RFA before we say farewell? Yeah, that's good. Uh, majority of uh, patients can be successfully treated by RF ovulation in terms of thyroid nodule. So 
uh, we will establish more detailed guidelines in the future uh, for our patient. Please, please, uh, mm. please follow my SNS and follow uh, our training program. That's yes. right. And if you do follow Dr. Bach on social media, you'll see regular updates. Um, of course. Of the latest course. news. Yes, of course. And uh, educational cases. Yeah. And, and new papers are being published of every course, day. Of course. New yeah. success stories yes. yeah. from around the world. Yeah. Dr. Bach, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your visiting our uh, conference. Thank and you. And hope to collaborate thank continuously. You. Thank, thank you. you. Everyone, you. farewell from ACTA. Farewell from South Korea. Thank you. Bye-bye.